I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And down he goes around the 40-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. the 46 yard line so he keeps it and he gets a big first down the quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch he saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game hands it to the back and they got him for a loss the defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage scrambling around They'll make the sack. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Fourth and long here after the sack. Brooks is waiting for the snap. Not much there on that opening drive. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game. Let's see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Nice run, and he's brought down. Left. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. Wants to throw outside. It's picked off. It's the junior. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and two. Takes it right, he can't get back to the line. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 48. The junior makes the catch. They'll bring him down right around the 28-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. And he 
he's tackled at the 25-yard line. Third and seven coming up here. Ball in the 25. Rose had a man wide open and he missed him. South Alabama could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he just drilled it from long range. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 3-0, South Alabama. It's fielded at the two. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. Nice run up the middle. The thing I love about this guy is he can throw the ball, he can run it, and that's hard to stop. Now he tries to buy some time, decides to slide. down at the 42-yard line. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop him for a loss of one. From their own 42-yard line, third down. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. Caught a big hit there to stop him. Number one on the tackle at the 49 yard line. That brings up second and eight. He's at the 40. Tackle right around the 38-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's taken down at the 34. That's a deep throw. Mike 9. Mike that makes it second and six. six. And they'll get him in the backfield. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? And that's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Mike Nine. Mike Nine. Yeah. It's a dot for the tight end, and he can't hang on. James the intended receiver. They'll call on the field goal unit. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Tulane can tie it up here with this kick. It has the distance. No good. He pushed it to the right. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. South Alabama is up a field goal. Fires out quick, it's picked off. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. Hang on, everybody, because it looks like they came ready to play today. The Jaguars with a three-point lead.
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. And they hit him in the backfield. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 49. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Got to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. A three-yard gain on the old screen pass. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Down at the 28 yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. South Alabama holds a field goal lead. Finds his receiver, and that's a first down. And down he goes around the 33 yard line. That's a gain of five on the way. First down. He fights forward to about the 36. Caught with room to work. Tackle made at the 49. First down. Complete brought down, nothing doing. He steps out at the 49 yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Jones is the deep man awaiting the return. He fields the punt at the 13. He's tackled at the 28. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. He is drilled at the 48-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. And he hits him hard at the 40-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive linemen and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Game up. 
Here's the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. A pickup of five. He executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. Baker awaiting the return. And this one is a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle. That's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. South Alabama is up by three. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Good open field tackle. Call it again at five yards. First down. Roger, Roger. Hey, number 28, Mike, Mike, he's coming, he's coming. Check in. Down. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Quick throw, and he's got the halfback again. He's taken down at the 44. Throws falling back, incomplete. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Kirk, we saw this guy head to the locker room earlier with an injury, and unfortunately, it looks like he could be sitting out the rest of this one. And he just gets rid of it. And that'll bring up a punting situation. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended. And now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. Brooks is the punter. It's away and it's a booming punt. Tackle at the 23. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's on the run. He's tackled right around the 30. Howard picks up about seven yards on the scramble. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's got it out to his tight end. And he tackles him hard at the 30-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 49. From the 49-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. He's under some heat, and he's going to come up with a sack. Going deep, lays it out there. Can't connect. That makes it Certainly, they don't have the return on here. Baker takes it to 14. Whoa, he just took a lick it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. South Alabama has a three-point lead. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Well, we're headed to halftime now. We're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. Three-nothing. South Alabama. 
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the height. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's gonna come down to players making plays. And you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He'll take it from the two. At the 30. Brought down at the 41. The Jaguars continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Call the loss of five yards on the way. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. around the 49-yard line. He gets to about the 41-yard line. to his receiver and he's taken down around the 38 yard line so it's complete but they didn't get much there and that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked the quarterback should have found somebody else downfield he's scrambling and they make the stop at about the 35 that's good for a game three yards that'll bring up third and four Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Jones intended receiver on the play. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Tulane is looking to tie things up. The kick is up. It's got the distance, and it's wide right. No good. We're about set to start things up again. Here we go, here we go. Mike, 28. Mike, 28. South Alabama is up a field goal. <laughs> Throws this one off balance. And this one's going to get intercepted. Brought down at the 43. their own 
43 yard line. It's first down. He makes his way to about the 48. That's a deep That brings him second and nine. Hey, check Mike 46. Check Mike. Fires out to his wideout. And down he goes. The 37 yard line. it out to maybe the 36 yard line. Now he's scrambling. And he can't get away from the pressure. Loss of two on the play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. Mike nine, Mike nine. He lets it go. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? From the 23-yard line, second down. Grabs it and hammered right there. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. She had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of him. They'll knock him down for a loss. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. We've got second and goal. Ball on the 12-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 10 play, 56 yard run, and it's good for seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback in the receiver. The score now, 7-3. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. He fires this one. Incomplete pass. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Zips it to the back. He's to the 40, and he's level at the 43-yard line. They'll get him in the backfield. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 41. He 
He's going to try and scramble. He dives, and he'll be marked down. Nice run to the left there. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. He gets rid of this one. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 44. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. Tackle made around the 29-yard line. Number 36 on the tackle at the 29-yard line. First down. Quick throw, incomplete, one on his receiver. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. This is the ninth play of this drive. Tries to thread the needle, it's picked off. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. From their own 35-yard line, first down. Tulane is up four. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. He makes it to the 32-yard line. That's a deal of one on the Mike Nine, Mike Nine. Bang out, bang out, bang out. Stop the fight. Thank you. And that's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. 7-3 to Lane. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. We might look back on this game when it's all over and say that's the point where they won the football game with that stop. That'll make it fourth and ten. Right to punt. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. First and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. Tackled for a loss. That might have actually been a situation where he should have kept it. The back didn't have any room to run. to the 20. And he's tackled at about the 29-yard line. That's good for a game of 19 yards. First down. And he's tackled right away. That brings up second and nine. Up. 
And now he's got room to run. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. He's in trouble. Fumble, loose ball. Picks up the loose ball. And he hits him hard at the 30. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He lets it go. It's complete. To the 20. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Brooks looks ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Gets it. He's in space. And he is drilled at the 35. Just under three to go in regulation. Falling back complete. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. for a loss. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on their own 40. And he just gets rid of it. down and they're going to try to go for it. Fires it out. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 48. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make Getting the football out of his hands, but he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. From the 42-yard line, first down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's tackled right around the 34. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. South Alabama is up by three. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Tulane's called their final timeout. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And he tackles him hard at the 29. First down. the middle for a nice game. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. That one, though. Hit a one, though. That makes it 
second and six. From the 25 yard line, second down. Nice run up the middle. Gain of seven yards. First down. Double tight. Double tight. Four down. Four down. Mike 28. Mike 28. And the ball game's over. The Jaguars with the victory. 10-7. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.